Well, hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica Likewise. I'm studying for my BCBA exam after 13 years of practicing ABA. Sometimes people send me in questions as I'm studying so I can make videos for you and you can study along with me. Today is one of those days. Someone sent me a question saying, what's the difference between a response class and a behavior repertoire? So today I'm gonna define them both for you. Well, hey guys, and welcome back. Thanks so much for watching these videos and sending your questions in. I'm studying hard for my BCBA exam, but I'm also making videos so you can study along with me. Subscribe to this channel. I'm posting multiple videos every day while I'm studying so we can study together. So someone sent me a question in, and it was a great question saying, what's the difference between a response class and a behavior repertoire? Well, these are terms you probably want to know on your ABA exam. So when you're taking your exam, if you see them, you know what they mean. So response class simply refers to all of the behaviors that have the same function. So if you want to get someone's attention, you can either tap them on the shoulder, you can raise someone's your hand to get their attention. I mean, you could take a water bottle and throw it at their head, right? That would get their attention. You can kick them in the shin. You can say, excuse me. So these are all behaviors that have the same function, has nothing to do with whether we perceive them to be good or bad or desirable or undesirable. Obviously, you probably wouldn't want this thrown at your head. You'd probably prefer I said, excuse me, but both of those behaviors are in the same response class because they serve the same function or purpose. What is a behavior repertoire? Behavior repertoire is simply all the skills that a person can do. So it is pretty extensive. I mean, anything can be a behavior repertoire from you know, scratching your head, to making a pizza, to riding a bike, watching television, sitting in a chair, standing up, you know, touching your head, touching your nose. Anything a person can do is part of their behavior repertoire. The way that you hear this in clinical practice most often, if you actually hear the word behavior repertoire, is if someone wants to be fancy and impressive, and instead of just speaking like a normal person, they want to talk in a BCBA talk, and they'll say, reading is not part of Johnny's behavior repertoire. Simply that means Johnny can't read yet. He hasn't been taught to read, which is actually probably, a, in my opinion, the better way to say it. But if you hear someone say a behavior is not part of someone's behavior repertoire, that typically means they're trying to sound smart and they're saying that the person cannot do it. Anything that is part of their behavior repertoire is something they can do. So I hope that this has helped you to understand these concepts. Um, I tried to make it funny, so you hopefully remember it. And if you have a question, I would love to answer it. Send it to me. And if you have a question I can't answer, well, we both probably need to know it. So I'll bring someone on who can. Every single video I make has an accompanying study note that goes with it. They're on my blog. They're not formally written and edited as blog posts. They're just my study notes that I typed up. But I'm sharing them with you because I believe we're in this together. And I want to see you be successful just as much as I want to be successful. So I'll see you on the next video. And if you have any questions, head over to my website, hopeeducationservices.com, get your study notes and send them in.